Okay, well, we just got the engine back from the machine shop. We did find out a few things that uh, we decided to not rebuild the engine, but to rebuild the engine. That makes any sense. What we're going to do is um, the engine had the oil pump inside the timing cover just completely shattered. If you've seen the last week's video, you kind of see what happened. It caused a lot of problems internally. It threw some metal up inside the engine, inside the crankcase. Uh, we also lost the main thrust bearing, which took out the block. So the engine's really not rebuildable. But we are going to go through the process. And just for you guys on YouTube, we're going to show you how to rebuild it, how to install pistons, how to put the head on, how to torque. Everything that we can do, pretty much put the engine all back together so that all the pieces are back as one whole. And uh, if you guys have any questions about what we're doing, just kind of post them down below. We'll answer them the best we can. Now we're not going to fire up this engine when we're done, but we're just going to do a dry assembly. There's a lot of, I've had a lot of people with questions about how the engine goes back together. Uh, so I'm going to put a video together just for you guys. So me and Brandon are going to go ahead and mount the engine on the stand and get it all set up and start installing the pistons and the crank. And I'll show you some things that, uh, to my best ability, I'll show you what I can. Uh, we don't have any of the crank bearings. Uh, those were pretty much all destroyed and they got lost in the the machine shop, but we will show you how to install bearings and grease them. Uh, we'll use the crank, not the crank bearings, but we'll also use the, the piston rod bearings. So we'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't know how long this, how many videos this is going to be. Uh, maybe four or five part video, just depending on how long it takes to reassemble it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's our pistons, our crank, our timing cover. This is where our problem was. This oil pump just completely shattered in about eight pieces. So this is what caused the engine to detonate. Our water pump, our pulleys, our intake manifold, alternator. Uh, this is our crank pulley. We've got a tensioner, the starter, power steering pump, timing, timing chain, the clutch, the motor mount, uh, the coil pack, thermostat housing, a rear main seal, a head bracket, valve cover, obviously. Now we've got a little bracket that goes underneath there on the oil pan, then our oil pan. Now when we pulled this apart, this oil pan had just tons and tons of metal shrouds in here. Um, so that's kind of why we're here. We've got our head bolts there, our block's been all cleaned, our head's been all cleaned. Uh, we're going to put it back together. Um, here's all our hardware, and we labeled everything as we took it apart. So it should be a pretty easy assembly. And let's go put you on the tripod and get started. And here's our... Our bottom end, this is the actual bearing that went bad. Um, the caps are still fine, but the bearings are all gone. So we're just going to go and put it all back together for you guys. Okay, now we're just going to put this on the engine stand. All right, our first step, we're going to spin it over just so we can get the crank in. Off the end caps. All right, as I was explaining in the introduction, we don't have any of the bearings for the crankshaft. Um, they got damaged while the engine was being serviced at the machine shop. So what I'm going to show you is basically how they're set up. Okay, So this is the cap for the crankshaft. This is the cap for the rods. Okay, They have a little dowel inside there and the way you take them out is you just push them out like that and then you just line those up. So we're not actually going to put cam bearings in, but this is how they, they line up in that spot right there. And then there's one here. That's a thrust washer or a thrust cam bearing. And then you have regular bearings here. Now these holes right here are where the oil actually comes on the back side of the rod. The cap sits like this. There's no oil journal on the cap, but there is on the block side. So we're going to install these, we're going to put the crankshaft in, we're going to install the caps, we'll show you how to torque. The way you want to do this, you just want to set it in real slow and just kind of spin it, make sure it's not bound up. Then we're going to put the caps on. Now the caps are all numbered. So this one says number one with an arrow going this way. So that is the front cap. All right, so they're all numbered, and you gotta make sure that you put them in correctly with the arrow pointing towards the front of the engine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and zip those on. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the crankshaft. Now remember, there's no crankshaft bearings. Um, this guy we had removed. Um, that's kind of one of the things that was damaged. So we're gonna start in the middle. We're gonna tighten down these two bolts. We're gonna kind of work our way to here, then work our way back to this one, back to here, and back to here. Just to get them snug, we're gonna come back to the torque wrench. So right now that's at 30, 35, so that's 45 foot-pounds right there. We'll start in the middle. There. And we'll work our way out. And now we will adjust it to 85. Okay. 85 foot pounds and same sequence. Okay, All right, turn it. So we're only going to turn it halfway. Okay, it's right about there. All right, so here's our piston. Here's our cap. Um, now we've already got the bearings on. You see that? You can see how they're kind of worn out. So if we was to actually do a rebuild, these were definitely what you'd want to replace. And you would also want to put some assembly lube right here as you're putting this together. You don't want to put it on the back side. You never want to put assembly lube on this side. You always want to put it on the top side of the bearing because you never want the bearing to spin in the cap. You only want the cap to, uh, you want it to be able to spin around the crankshaft, but you don't want the bearing to spin in the rod. So what we're going to do is we have the piston rings right here. We have a piston ring collapser that we will set on here and it just cranks down with a, a little quarter inch extension. So we'll tighten this down and we'll start to put it in. All right, here we are. We got the uh, piston ring collapser on here. It just basically slides on like that. Now we numbered the caps, if you remember, we numbered the caps when we actually took the piston apart. So this is the piston three, all right? And so what we want to do is find position three, get it kind of lined up. Then we're going to take our tool and just tighten it down. Okay, so that it's completely tight around the piston. All right, and then we're just going to go ahead and slide it in. Then we want to line up the crankshaft and then I'll grab the hammer. Got that rubber hand. All right, we're ready to put the piston in. Now, when we took this apart, we made sure that we numbered the uh, piston rod so that we would know which way it goes back together. So that's a very important part is to make sure that your piston cap is facing the right direction. Now, if you don't remember, then go back to the video that we previously did that shows marking the numbers of the pistons and make sure that they go incorrectly. I'm just gonna set this in place. Then we will just take a rubber hammer. And sometimes this takes a little bit of finesse. Has to be done just right. And watch that, guide that. And when the piston rod's coming through, you gotta make sure it's guided over on the crankshaft. And these you have to torque. All right, so we've got it set to 15 foot-pounds in the torque wrench. I'm just going to go ahead and crank that down. Okay, so that's it for tonight's video. We just finished up installing the pistons, the crank, putting the bottom in. Uh, tomorrow's video, we're going to put the head on, set the valves, put the timing chain on, and then we'll start assembling the tin. So hopefully you're liking the engine build. Uh, please rate, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.